Hi, I'm Kevin from Gemini Outdoors and today we will be evaluating the Fiskers X7 hatchet. Um, I bought this Fiskers X7 from Walmart for around 30 bucks and uh, stick around and watch the evaluation and see what I think about it. This is the Fiskers X7 hatchet. This is going to be a chopping test, which makes sense since it is a axe. Hatchet, excuse me. Well, it's breezing through there like it ain't nothing, so I'm just going to stop the test right there. And as you can see, this is designed to chop on wood to whereas those other uh, knives uh, can sometimes have issues going through wood like that. So it just goes to show you you use the right tool for the right job, I guess, in some instances. But survival knives are good too, so test passed. This is a splitting test of the Fiskars X7. It's starting to get a little bit of a piece off. Well, as you can see, the uh, Fiskars X7 is having some trouble splitting through some of these bigger logs. Now, does that necessarily mean that it wouldn't work splitting smaller stuff? Remember, it is a hatchet. It's not a full-size splitting axe. It's not designed to be a splitting axe. It performed very well on chopping tests, and I'm still, just from my own 
where I'm evaluating this, um, I'm concerned about it splitting and I'm concerned about putting it in maybe in my kit, uh, in my system because of that. So uh, the jury's still out on this, going with me in the woods. So we'll see. All right, so let's get to it here with the Fiskars X7. Um, my primary theory of use for this uh, hatchet is for a backpacking uh, top hatchet. Uh, of course, I'm still a little on the fence about using a hatchet uh, for backpacking. Uh, even this one, this is the best one that I've found. Uh, I'm still not sure about it. So, but that's my own uh, systems and stuff. So, uh, the evaluation is kind of based off of all that. My secondary TOU for this would be a camping hatchet, uh, which would be just fine uh, if you. You know, we're just going car camping or whatever. If you have it in a vehicle system, that will work just fine um, because weight's not going to be so much of an issue. With me, uh, backpacking weight would, would definitely come into this um, being in my backpack. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff there about theory of use that, that could become issues in your system. Uh, let's get to specs here. Uh, the specs for the Fiskars X7 are as follows. The weight is one pound and nine ounces. Uh, overall length is 14 inches. The blade length on the head is 2.75 inches. The materials is a steel blade and a polymer handle and the lock tang is of course an axe. So uh, that's pretty much how you, you know, the specs of it. Um, the weight is the main thing it's going to be an issue no matter what uh, my thing is is you can carry a one pound um, nine ounce hatchet which is a good hatchet it's a fine hatchet but do I want to carry this weight or would I rather carry a knife which could do a large survival blade which could do more uh, this, I, I feel as though you're, I mean, you may be limiting yourself, but I'm not, you know, like I said, my, my, even my jury's still out on that. So remember that. Uh, positive aspects. It's very lightweight for a hatchet. Now, other hatchets that I have tested and have put up against this thing, such as the Coleman Camp Axe uh, and another hatchet that I've gotten, they're much heavier than this. So this, hands down, just hands it to them for being a backpack. A hatchet in my opinion it's it's and it's big it's really um, it's got a, it's got uh, what am I trying to say um it's not really small like I got another camp a little camp hatchet from UST that's very small and it's just like what's the point in this thing you know it's just basically de a delimmer this you can actually chop a tree down with so um, Positive aspects, like I said, it's very lightweight for a hatchet. It's very sharp. It came very sharp out of the box. I will say that. Uh, it chops very well, um, which you will see in the chopping tests. And uh, I like the sheath on it, this hard plastic sheath. It does protect the blade well, and it's lightweight. I also threw a strap on here, as you can see, just to be able to throw it over my shoulder whenever I'm walking, walking around away from my campsite. Uh, negative aspects. Uh, due to its light weight, it does require more force to chop, which means you're going to put a little more elbow grease into it. Uh, while it chops very well, it doesn't split wood as well as I thought it would. Uh, and you will see that kind of in testing in the test videos that I'm, that, uh, I'm including with this eval. Um, word of mouth is, uh, it's got mostly positive reviews on uh, YouTube, a few negative, uh, most of the negative reviews are of the polymer handle here breaking while under destruction testing. And to me, I, I, you know how I feel about destruction testing, I, I just don't see any use in it. Does it show you what the product can do? Um, so I mean, that's... You know, in my opinion, it, it, it doesn't really show what the what what the the uh, hatchet can truly do. So, word of mouth is like I said, it's mostly positive from from good reviewers. It's mostly positive. 
We're going to move on now to the eval card. Okay, the eval card for the Fiskars X7 hatchet. Uh, on performance, I gave it a 9 out of 10. On value, I gave it a 9 out of 10. On uh, durability, I gave it a 9 out of 10. Out of versatility, I gave it a, excuse me, let me see here, 8 out of 10. Compatibility, 8 out of 10. Simplicity, 9 out of 10. Maintenance, 9 out of 10. Theory of use, a 10 out of 10. Uh, speciality, which I'm, I am replacing that with reliability. Uh, I gave it a 9 out of 10, and on my lockability scale, I gave it a 10 out of 10. For a score of 90 out of 100, which gives it a letter grade of A, and it does make the Ass Kickers Club. So that's awesome. Uh, it is a very good hatchet, as I was saying. Even with my own, like I said, my own theory of use part of it, I still think that if I was going to use a hatchet in a backpacking top system, this would be the one that I would carry. So, just to let you know, that's why I gave it a 10 out of 10. Okay, moving on now. Recommendations to the manufacturer. Uh, I don't recommend any changes to this product. I think it is good as it, it, as it can get. Just leave it the way it is. Uh, recommendations to my audience is it is highly recommended. Uh, if you, you're looking for a backpacking camping type of hatchet, I really recommend you get this. Um, in closing, uh, what I really like about this about this little hatchet is that it's very lightweight and it chops well for being lightweight too. You might have to put a little extra oomph behind it, but what I've found is is that the steel head, all the weight is up here in the head. The polymer handle weighs, I mean, next to nothing. So you are getting, as you swing, you are getting that momentum of that, of that heavier axe head coming down. So that's why it chops so well. Uh, the only thing that I didn't like about this product is this wood splitting ability, even though it is a little bit better on smaller circumference logs, which is probably what you're going to be cutting with it anyway. I mean, something maybe anywhere in the three to five inch round range. If you're going to try to chop a big old huge log, uh, try to split one, I would forget it. Uh, I wouldn't even attempt it. Uh, I would, what you probably end up be better doing is just trying to hit it in a way to where you're just splitting off little chunks of it uh, instead of trying to split it right down the middle with this thing. It will have issues with that. Uh, I still don't know if I would use a hatchet in my backpacking system or not. And if I did, it would be this one. Um, a survival blade, like I said, it does so much, uh, in my opinion, and it's so versatile, in my opinion, that you know, with this, this would be it'd be a whole lot harder to take this and skin game with it and stuff. I know some there's some hatchet guys out there, some axe guys are going to go absolutely ballistic and be like, no, 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 that's not true, that's not true. Um, and I hear what she's saying, but I don't know. It just to me, like I said, in my backpacking system, would I rather have a, a a survival blade or a hatchet I don't know the jury's still out on that I have a lot of thought put into it um, you know I, I mean I just I still don't know my the jury's still out in my book if whether I would use this or not now if I was going deep into the woods I would probably say no if I was just going say not too deep I'm just going uh, you know, just going in there just to do a little trip or whatever, I might would take this because, you know, it's like, you know, I, I you know, the most you're going to be doing is maybe, you know, chopping up a little bit of firewood or something like that for a small fire. But if you're going deep into the woods, I mean, if I'm going to carry weight, I think I want the most capability, you know, and versatility to it than I would this. This this is, isn't going to give me as much versatility uh, as a survival blade would. So, like I said, for a hatchet, this thing's awesome. It kicks ass. That's why it's an ass kickers club. Um, but as far as uh, as far as 
some other things go as far as my backpacking system, the jury's still out. So I'll leave it up to y'all to make your minds up what you want. I appreciate you viewing the video um, and have a great day.